Hello internet, my name is Evie and it's really hot in my room. It's not fun. So today I want to talk about one of the weirdest and what I believe is one of the best kid films out there. Now I know you might be thinking that's a really big title to give to a movie and you're right. I also believe that this film is the furthest away from deserving this title. What can I say? It's a weird film for me. <laughs> also I'm realizing I haven't even mentioned this film yet so today I will be talking about the 2009 classic directed by Robert Rodriguez and this film is called Short The Adventures of the Magic Wishing Rock or like everyone else just calls it Short. Now for the people who remember this film the whole plot is probably some fever dream. Did I really watch this film or did I just imagine a giant booger that's trying to eat children in my head? And I'm probably one of the very few people in this world who not only watches this movie because they just want to watch this movie, but also pretty much knows the movie off heart, also believing it's not a good movie. So, be jealous. But I also drain that thought out about it not being good with just full-on love and nostalgia that I have for this film. Now the plot of this film is very chaotic because it's told through five different chapters slash short that are all completely told out of order <laughs> as well. And it's all just about the weird and random wishes that a bunch of children make when they are presented with a magic rock from the sky. So all the wishes are pretty stupid <laughs> in this film. So the film starts with two kids having a staring competition montage which really adds nothing to the movie. So that plays and then all the movie <laughs> title cards play and then the actual movie begins. So we get to see where this amazing movie get takes place and it's located in Black Falls which is run by Black Box Incorporated, which is the all-powerful company and maker of the Black Box, which is this all-in-one gadget that can do anything, like it can just turn into everything. And then we meet the CEO of Black Inc, which is Mr. Black, who wants his products to be the biggest in the world so he wants to make sure all his competition is destroyed so we can already tell that this character is really nice and bubbly you're fired so are you but do your spouses also work for this company yeah. yes they're fired as well move out of your homes effective immediately the narrator, Toby, explains that because of this magic wishing rock making all this confusion with all its wishes, he's forgotten the order of events of the story. So he has to tell the story completely out of order in a series of shorts. So we are rewinded back to when Toby, the narrator, when he gets the rock, and so it starts off with we're following Toby's morning routine which is very detailed about his braces cleaning with like we get it it braces like can we please move on oh no you're, you're still going okay Toby and then we go to his school where we meet his bullies because of course this kid is getting bullied but his situation of bullies is kind of unique because the group he is bullied by. The leader is the son of Mr. Black, who's named Cole Black, but also then he's not even the leader. His sister, Helvetica Black, who is my favorite character because she's just iconic and I love her. Um, she's actually the leader of the pack. This whole little group is not intimidating at all, but like, they try. <laughs> so anyways, this day Toby kind of decides he's sick of getting bullied, so he confronts Helvetica. I just realized something. I know why you have them beat up on me every day. Because I hate you? Because you love me. And that ends great. And then, so the bullies chase him off to school and start throwing rocks at him. Really more seems like they're just trying to murder him because of how this scene plays out. And this is also the moment where Toby gets the wishing rock because it is plummeted right into his head. A mysterious voice starts speaking and it's like, like, hey, make a wish. He's like, 
Okay. And so he does make a wish, and being the loser he is, he wishes for friends that are as unique as him. So now he has a bunch of alien buddies, and he uses them for the normal type of friend stuff like, here you go, make a full cost meal. Oh, you wanna clean my room? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, you wanna fix my braces? <laughs> You know, the normal friend things. So Toby's new friends kind of get put on a mission to go torment his bullies, but it really turns out that the aliens just really want to jam. So they start creating chaos throughout the classroom, making Toby accidentally hit Helvetica in the face, which causes her to do this. Sorry. You will be. Drop it! Ah. I love her. And, and then everything gets even more out of hand. And then they fall out a window and break their arms. And then there's the worst scene in the whole movie. And I don't even want to talk about it. I, I don't like it. At all. N nothing you can say to me will make me like this scene. And then the film takes us to the real beginning of the sequence of events and we meet Lugi and his two brothers and we get to see the chaos that happened with finding the rock. And so with these brothers we get to see the rock getting used for very important I wish wishes. I supply of chocolate bars. Huh? Well there's one. And then everything goes from like zero to a hundred. I wish for a fortress. The canyon around it filled with man eating crocodiles and venomous snakes. <laughs> Guys, I think I know what he wished for. I wish something would take us away. <laughs> Which ends up them wishing to just start over again because they stuffed up the first time. Then after they wish for one of them to be smarter, now they have a talking baby, they realize that they're not responsible enough for this rock. So they stupidly fling the rock away and... And it gets launched to where the bullies were throwing rocks at Toby. And then we jump forward to the next shot, which is about Nose. Yeah, the, the names in this film are really something else. So Nose, he lives with his father, who is a scientist for blacking, but also is a giant germaphobe. And he turned his house into a germ-free quarantine house, pretty much. And Toby's sister, who is Nose's tutor, finds the rock outside and brings it inside the house and so now Nose has the rock. And also it's very important that you know that Nose's really only character trait is that he picks his nose and he eats it. Very important. I just wish that his inventions worked the way they were supposed to. And so Toby and Loogie come to get the rock. You come to visit me in almost a year. I should break your arms. It looks like someone beat me to it. I've told you a million times not to pick your nose. See what happens? It's got to keep feeding to stay intact. So basically, all those years, you told me not to eat my boogers. Yes, now your boogers trying to eat you. And so Nose is like, hey, my character trait will come in handy for this. And so he picks his nose and he threatens the monster. He'll eat the booger. And the booger monster's like, huh, ah, don't do that, please. And so that works for a little bit. And then the real hero of this short, his father comes in and has a whole Ghostbusters esque saving moment. And then we rewind back to Toby's parents getting the rock. And the only reason why they got the rock in the first place is because Toby's mom came into Toby's room and just 
just took it from under his bed. And she wishes that her and her really husband close. were closer. And so they merge together and make one person. And they are also going to an event party that Mr. Black is hosting. What are you doing here? Came here to get my mom's purse. Thanks for the ice. Bye. Wait, don't go. Let go of the wishing rock. I wish you were a stupid little dung beetle. <gasps> Did you see that? Wow. And then this short literally ch turns into a big giant goose chase to get the rock. And then just like a whole lot of chaos happens. I wish each and every one of you had that same go for the throat spirit. What are you doing? No! I wish you would just listen to me for a change. I wish for a rocket bike. And Toby makes finally one of the most responsible wishes he ever makes in the whole film, which is just to wish everyone back to normal. And then at the end of that, Toby throws the rock away, which I still have no idea how he throws it that far. His arms are in cast, and yet he can throw it that far. And then we are fast forward to the final shot of this film, which has everyone involved because it's the end of the movie. So when everyone gets together, they all go rabid and try to get the rock. And so there's just a lot of chasing. Put the rock on the ground and step away. Dad, what are you doing? Grab the rock. You make a wish. Uh, my wishes came backfiring. You do it. Get it! Have it go! Do whatever it takes! I thought you told me not to be a bully! It's not bullying if you win! I hate being told what to do! Do it! I wish for really long arms! I wish to disappear. Visibility and arms back to normal. I have a love hate relationship with this scene because, first off, he didn't say I wish before he made his wish, so his wish shouldn't have came true. You know, that's not how this works, mate. You have to say I wish. But also, I love this scene because then Helvetica punches him, so. You know, I always did like you, Laser. Really? <laughs> Liked. It's kind of all worth it, actually. So after more chasing, the rock ends up in the hands of Mr. Black, and everyone's like, oh, this is kind of bad. And so Helvetica tricks him. Wish for a giant pile of money! Come on, Dad. You must be joking. My girl, I wish I were. Which makes him drop the rock, and so there's more chasing to get the rock, and then he gets it again, and everyone's like, oh, this? is bad and so he wishes to be the most powerful thing in the world because he has the rock so he can And then everyone's like, oh, we need to beat him up. Instead of doing the reasonable thing, which would be to just wish his wish away, they instead will take turns making wishes that call back what they made wishes on for their shorts, because the other option isn't as fun. And then they defeat him in like a minute. 
so he wasn't really that all-powerful being, was he? Haha. <laughs> and during this time, Smart Baby, um, she freezes time, pretty much, and tells everyone that they've made the rock really upset and tired because they keep making bad wishes and abusing the power. And so they have to get rid of the rock. And they're like I don't know how. And so, scientist dad, he comes in and he's like, I know the answer. We all have to hold hands in a circle while our hands are covered in germs. And, surprisingly, that works. And so the rock poofs away and the movie ends. So we're friends. Let's settle for no longer enemies. I wish we were in a Hollywood movie. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. So what's my takeaway from this film? Well, it's really not good. <laughs> and it relies way too much on gross humor, but it does have funny moments, okay? Just cause I'm talking bad about it right now doesn't mean it doesn't have its moments. And the main reason why I love this film so much still is because it's just fun to watch. Even though it's bad, it's bad enough to still be enjoyable and a good time. Unless you have no imagination, then this movie probably isn't your cup of tea. <laughs> and another main reason why I love this film is because it really just reminds me about how stupid my imagination is, especially back when I was a kid. I think it was just really whack. <laughs> you can tell that this movie has a lot of heart put in it. It's just that it wasn't executed with great but there's also no other way you could make this movie. Like, you can't really improve this movie because how do you improve is a weird film. And actually, I don't think human minds are actually have the ability to comprehend the greatness that is this film because we're just so undeveloped and don't know the treasure that we have. This is why I think that this is one of the greatest kids films ever while also being one of the worst kids films ever because it feels like a kid. I don't know, does that make sense? Like the kid is just about a kid having fun with magic rock. That's all really a good story needs. So thank you for watching Watching this this bizarre guilty pleasure of mine that is this movie and I hope you have a good day and wash your hands okay wash your hands it's not that hard okay bye <laughs>